friends, welcome to this week's landscape photography vlog. In this episode, I hike up the mountain to capture scenes above the fog with my good friend Joe Pierce. Here we shoot time-lapse photography, long exposure digital photography. Also, my friend Joe brings up some of his film cameras, including a 90-year-old Voigtlander to see if we can get a night long exposure with it above the clouds. I really hope you enjoy the video. that out. Amazing. So beautiful right now. Get the fog rolling over the hills in the distance, but it's not thick enough to where it's rolling over the entirety of the hill. So you get these nice areas where the hills are revealed out of the fog. And that's really what we want because it's just a beautiful view fog waterfall pouring over this hillside and you can still see the city in the background you get downtown san francisco salesforce tower transamerica looks really nice and uh let me just this is at 400 millimeters let me zoom out a little bit i mean that looks cool too you can see the fog pouring in the foreground but i think the more zoomed in perspective where you really compress the fog and the city in the background looks the most interesting. So I'm gonna do a time-lapse of this first. And I'm thinking one second intervals because the fog is moving pretty quick. I don't think I need uh, any longer than that. And just leave everything on manual, make sure manual focus is on, make sure the stabilization is off. And then I'm gonna use the internal intervalometer here in the Nikon. Here is, I think, already my all-time favorite camera. It's a Pentax 6.7. Um, it's a medium format film camera. Uh, it takes 110 roll film and some 220 like expired film if you can find it. You only get 10 shots out of it, but it's a huge frame. It's a six by seven. Uh, I found this one. It's same exact age as me. It's 30 years old, but it's not <laughs> a scratch on it. I can't believe it. I, I love this camera. It's I take this thing everywhere already. So Joe's definitely gotten me into film a little bit with the uh, Pentax going on, making me a little jealous. I think I'm gonna get a 35 mil camera and just play around it because it's honestly been years. I think the last time I shot film was four by five when yeah. we were at Brooks we together. Were both at school and <laughs> large format view cameras. Yeah, and I had no idea what, <laughs> what I was doing with that anyways. Fog is incredible right now. Beautiful patterns and it's really filling out this valley. I mean, the fog was just kind of sitting out to sea a little bit, and at sunset, it really fills out. It's just making such beautiful shapes right now. I think I'm gonna do a long exposure now, just to try it out, just to see you know, what it looks like. Got my six stop filter, throw that on there. I'm gonna try a 15 second exposure. I don't think I really need the 30 seconds since I'm zoomed in so far. So here is my first long exposure and 
I wanted this kind of simple minimalist look to this image and just sort of framing the fog around this nice grouping of trees. I went with a bit of high key processing here, really just making the fog a little bit brighter, a little bit more inviting. After I shot this image, I did decide to switch back to quick exposures and here's what I shot. I really love the way this image came out and I tried a long exposure of this scene, but it just didn't have the same motion that this one does. I love the little waves that are created in the texture of the fog. And I wanted to make sure that texture was still here in the composition. But I think my favorite part of this image is that really nice balance between the cooler tones in the fog and that warm sunset glow that's just kind of spilling across the tree line. You could still see the uh, sales force just the top of the sales force, the Transamerica out there. The fog definitely filled out quite a bit. All right, so I think I'm just gonna do a simple 30 second exposure of this. It's always nice when the fog is low enough to see just a little bit of the city out in the distance. And so I was definitely lucky to get that here. The tallest building right in the middle, that's the Salesforce Tower, which is the tallest building in San Francisco. And then you can actually see the Transamerica Pyramid towards the left side, that little point that's catching that last bit of sunset glow. I was really only able to get a few frames of this before the sun completely set, and this one happened to be my favorite. So not only did Joe bring up his 30-year-old Pentax that's as old as him, but he actually brought a camera that's 60 years older. And this is the Voigtlander Burkheil. So Joe decided to take out this camera and see if he could get a long exposure at night with it above the clouds. Here's what he shot. You know, I spend a lot of time going up these mountains to capture images above the fog. These places are really special in my heart, and I've had a lot of really fond memories up these hills. So to be able to see this beautiful image taken with this really historic 90-year-old camera, and to have been able to be there and experience it was just a lot of fun, and definitely a nice change from what I'm used to on my photographic journeys. And then uh, I got a time lapse rolling. Some really nice city lights out there in the distance. Just the glow of the Salesforce Tower. A little bit of glow down there in uh, Marin County. And the fog is just still rolling over these hills. And what's nice is as car lights travel through the fog and as you can see little houses and whatnot in the fog, you get that little bit of glow that pierces through the fog, which adds a really nice effect to the time lapse. So I think this should be a good one. Again, I'm on the 100 to 400 lens. I can't remember the last time <laughs> this lens left my camera anyways. It's nice, the, there's a few planes in the sky, just kind of cruising through the time lapse. And then it's always nice when you can see the city out in the distance. Sometimes the fog gets too high and it covers the city and then you don't get that nice glow in the background. Right now, the Salesforce Tower is the brightest thing in the shot, and it's just shining out there in the distance. And then in the foreground, well, not foreground, but in the you know, bottom part of the photograph, it's just gonna be all this fog pouring through. I'm really excited to see how this turns out, honestly.
that time-lapse sequence, I decided to do a few more long exposures. This first image is a 30-second exposure above the clouds, and I think my favorite element of this composition is how you can see the cars just kind of going through the fog towards the bottom of the image. I love how the car lights change the colors of the fog and create these really surreal colors and light shining through. It's always fun shooting these fog waterfall shots, but then I actually zoomed in and I found my favorite scene of the day. So this image was captured at 400 millimeters and I actually had to crop into the image a little bit to get this composition. I love the grouping of darker trees towards the bottom of the image mixed in with the thicker and more bright fog towards the top of the photograph. And then of course that little light in the house that's just shining this nice warm glow amongst the blue tones in the rest of the photograph. As mentioned before, I spend so much time going up these hills and mountains and capturing all sorts of fog images throughout the year, it's always fun when I can find something just completely different. And this image is definitely a lot different than the other ones I've captured in my Bay Area Fog collection. I'd be curious to know which image from this video is your favorite. Please let me know in the comments. It was an absolute blast to share this experience with my good friend Joe, and I'm sure you're going to be seeing more of him on this channel. As always, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next one.